Good morning everyone. So again I have a prophetic words to share with you guys. Um, this is quite a long book. Uh, received this from the Lord a couple of weeks ago and because it's such a long book and I have been busy I haven't released it earlier um, so the word was Jose Jose I hope I pronounce it right now this book of Jose is actually it is a small part of um, Holy Bible the book of Jose is showing this story is actually show it's significant when I first read it I um, just felt a lot of emotion for this minor prophets he, um, it, it's, it shows God love for the sinning worlds very well. It's to start off, I didn't thought it was significant, but I think this is, this book is very special. Um, the Lord wanting me to study and teach and just sharing it with uh, everyone. So, um, get right into it, because it's quite a long one. So, um, the book of Jose is a unique book. Now, it is, this book is actually talking about the prophet Jose. It's a prophecy based on the life of a minor prophet. Jose himself. Uh, Jose. So it is based on the tra tragic marriage of the seven prophet himself, which become like a comparison for the relationship between God and Israel. Thank you, Lord. So my heart was quite heavy when, as I read this book, page by page, I felt like there was a lot of this prophet just, he have um, been hand, of hand down a very heavy assignment, a heavy burden, and the responsibility around his own life that God is using um, and his own very um, calling is prophetically heavy prophet house of uh, the Old Testament loved and fulfilled the loneliest duty I reckon it's it is one just hold the title of having one of the most unique and difficult calling in all the scripture and maybe this is why God is pointing to this book and he would like people to notice that you know what this is significant book even though it's small so God have instructed Jose to minister to go minister to a confused and unfaithful people of Israel now at this time people are lacking of morality you know in their society so um, Jose instructed by God to marry a prostitute now her name is Gomer and he's also instructed him to be to remain faithful 
to his marriage. Even when she continue in her line of work, which is, you know, prostitution. So during this marriage, she continued to do that. Now, as we can say, it's probably very hard to profit Jose, but he remained very faithful to the Lord and um, treat her well and, you know, close her and provide her very well. However, while the life of Jose served as an example of God's faithfulness and endless love for his people in the midst of their unfaithfulness, Gomer, his wife, ended up leaving him for another lover, as prophesied, and I think Prophet Jose is already know this that that his wife will eventually become unfaithful to him. So when it did came to pass, she ended up leaving him for another man, another lover. However, God instructed Jose to take her back as bride again. Reflecting, you guys, the redemption nature of God's love for Israel, the unfaithful people of those times. According to Leviticus law, stayed Goma, Jose's wife, an adultery way would have been treated as a social disgrace to the prophet himself and his family. However, even though she deserved death penalty, it did not come to that. She ended up bearing Jose three children, each being given tragically symbolic name that reflected God's temperament, even warning of an a coming event. We discover from Jose writing, is the heart of a man who was compassionate, committed to God, his wife, and keenly aware of how this tragic marriage he, he aware that his marriage is mirroring the tragedy of Israel's infidelity with sin at that time. Needless to say, how they understand the heart and heartbreak of God and somehow saw a bigger picture of what God's love through his own personal pain. He understand it very well. Um, I take this hat off to this prophet Jose. He's so faithful. Now, Jose write in Jose book 4 six. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because of because you have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you from being my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Not only people walked away from God, but they have forgotten him entirely. Like Northern Kingdom of Israel, they have forgotten his God faithfulness. They have forgotten God's many miracles and how good he had been to them throughout their relationship. Israel's sin had left people blinded, confused, trapped and in the cycle of sin. Worst of all, sin has had caused them to forget who their God is, who their faithful, loving God is. God is faithful. Even we are not. 
Praise the Lord. Like this book, I see the world as house a bride. The world is like the house a bride, which is Israel. Okay, in this time, you know, this is what I see the world as. We are Jose's brides. Um, but I will get back to that in a bit. So back to this. God willing to go to the extreme length to buy back his bride. He buy back his bride, okay. Hosea take back his bride and treated her very well. He does not condemn her to um, what she have done to him because it was, you know, God. Hosea was faithful to God and he served him faithfully. So guys, what I mean by reading this Hosea book, and at the end of it, I kind of have this revelation that God has given me. You know, the world today, we see a lot of sinning against him. We have totally forgotten him. We are Israel. We are God's bride that have forgotten who God is. You know, in society we see, you know, school taking Bible out of from the kids you know um, it's just like we are living in some society that don't know who God is so um, what I mean is that we have lost the lost bride okay the world we are the lost bride and unable for God to actually buy back his bride he sent his only forgotten son. He buy back his bride through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. Not only will God receive his bride when she return. Now, we're going to look at what Hosea write in the book of Hosea 14.4 verse. I will heal her apostasy I will love them freely for my anger has turned away from them so thank you Lord for the blood of your precious son Jesus Christ that we are redeemed not only God have taken us back he bought us back with the blood of Jesus Christ we will also get treated well when we return to him. That is amazing revelation. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus. And um, this book was special to me because God is working with me in this and this was the very first time that you know he didn't just drop a verse he actually wanted me to study the whole book of how say because it is significant we are the bride who forgotten you know we we've forgotten god uh, you know it's a it looks comparison to the book of how say and it still stands today. We are rebelling against God. But thank you, Lord, for um, your son, Jesus Christ. We'll be able to return to him again. It is amazing revelation. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you, Lord. It is very special to me, this um, uh, teaching. Um, uh, so... So I hope you um, will see it as well. You know, if you get some time, 
do read about do 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 go into your bible and actually um look at the book of Hosea it is very special and um thank you lord do you have a place today and uh, i hope it's it's in it's empowering you to um go spend time with him and actually the word will come to lives and you will receive some form of you know revelation it's amazing when that happens when the word comes to lives it really is so you have a blessed day you guys uh enjoy your day and thank you for watching